Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to integrate Destroy It with Invector's third-person shooter and melee templates. I'm going to start by showing uh, taking a Destroy It object and making it work with Invector uh, in an Invector scene. And then I'll show you how to take an Invector object and uh, make it destructible with Destroy It. So first off I'm going to grab something from the demo scene in Destroy It. I'm just going to go to the scene main scenario scene because I don't actually have a prefab of this. Go to the destructible objects and the one I want is the one with multiple materials. And so I'm just going to make a quick uh, prefab out of this. Drop it in here. And then I'll switch back over to the other scene. We're going to make this one destructible in Invector using the Invector controller. So I'll open up the Invector third person controller asset, go to its demo scenes and go to the shooter melee. Okay. And I'm just going to drop that asset in the scene. All right, and this asset already has the destructible script on it, and it already is all set up with prefabs and everything. But right now, it wouldn't work with Invector because it's not set up to work with those uh, with its controller. So what we've created is a uh, a set of scripts that uh, you just import and it'll uh, handle all the heavy lifting for you. Now the first thing we need to always do is uh, go here for, to window, destroy it, and then set up minimal. This will add the scripts for destroy it that you need to run. And then we'll go and import this destroy it scripts for Invector TPC Shooter 1.4. We've updated these scripts to work with the latest version of uh, TPC Shooter. So I'm just going to import that now. And if you've already imported these before in a previous version, this will overwrite those. I, we put them in the same place. Okay, so it's just importing two scripts. All right, and then once that's done, I'm just going to add that script uh, to my prefab my destructible prefab. <clears throat> okay, so that's pretty much it. That's all you have to do to get that working. And we'll test out both melee and uh, weapons. All right, so when you punch, it actually does damage. And as expected, you get the visible damage until it's broken. And since this is a rigid body controller, you can run around through the debris. All right, let me reset the scene. And I'll go get the weapon. All right. So now what I would like to do is I'd like to take the uh, brick wall over here. I'll show you that real quick. And I'll make one of these brick walls destructible because right now you can just shoot it, but um, it, it never has any destruction. So I'm going to make this bri uh, brick wall destructible with destroy it. So in order to do that, I need to, let's see, click on the brick wall. Then I'm going to add uh, the destructible script. All right, and then I will add the V destructible script. That's our extra script. And then there's a force multiplier on here. You don't really have to worry about this unless it, it feels like there's not enough force when uh, it, you know, like if it was being knocked around or something like that by the damage and it doesn't seem right, you could adjust that. So just with that now, 
you can see that it's being hit for damage and it's destroyed. But the only thing is we're not getting any hit effects off of it. So like when we punch it, we don't see any little particles flying off of it or anything like that. And also there's no progressive damage. So we're going to take this and, and kind of fancy it up a little bit. So one thing I want to do is to get progressive damage, I'm just going to take this brick uh, texture and expand this and look at the shader. And I'll add a detail mass to it. And let me see, in the resources, progressive damage. So the detail mask here, I'm going to add that here, and it's going to go through all these progressive damage steps. And then I just need to add some type of a texture that will be overlaid on top of it. And for that, um, let's see, I'll use the... Uh, cracks, the progressive damage cracks too. And then a normal map. Here's the normal map for it. And then to get the uh, particle effect, I'm going to add one more thing and that's going to be the hit effects. This is another destroy it script. And so for the hit effects, I'm just going to say when it's hit by anything, I'm going to use um, concrete mm, concrete debris. See what that looks like. Now we run the scene. Well, let me punch it first. Now it's a little bit big, but you can see that it's um, you know it has the progressive damage textures, and then it's eventually broken. Let me reset it. And now I'll do the weapon. Okay, I probably need to increase the hit points on it a little bit. I think these weapons do a little bit more damage. So yeah, instead of 50, let's make it 500. Let's run that again. And there you go. And, you know, you could, of course, add a better... Um, particle effect to this. I think that particle effect is a bit um, bit much. We could try this one. This might look a little better. You'll just have to kind of experiment with these and find particle effects that you like. And you can use any particle effect you want for this. A little better. And that's all there is to it. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.